Okay, hi, good afternoon, and welcome to our presentation about mental health and mental health aid and awareness. First, we will see a video from a, a, from a professional therapist explaining what mental illness looks like. Hi, my name is Natasha Bailey, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist. I have a private practice in Chula Vista, California, and also work for a high school district where I help um, teenagers with mental health needs as it relates to their academic needs. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna to talk about teenagers and depression. First, what's important to note is we all have mental health, but we all do not have mental illness. When you consider your mental health, what do you think the difference between depression versus sadness? We all have sadness. Sadness is an emotional reaction, whereas depression is a mental illness. Sadness is more of a emotional reaction and generally short time um, doesn't last very long, but depression lasts for a duration of time. So about 20% of all teens experience depression before they reach adulthood. Between 10 to 15 suffer many symptoms at one time. And some of these symptoms look like prolonged mood or sadness, mood irritability, um, feelings of helplessness, social isolation, loss of things you used to do, enjoying things that you used to do, such as hanging out with friends, maybe playing a part of a sports team, um, giving things away. Um, the signs of depression can become clinical, um, such as suicidal ideations and or suicide completion. If you ever experience any of these symptoms, please ask a trusted adult for help. You can get help from a professional mental health or your primary care doctor and discuss your mood and these symptoms. Keep a journal, write down how you're feeling and speak to a trusted adult. Lastly, if you are feeling suicidal, please note the Access and Crisis Line, 1-888-724-7240. Uh, this is the San Diego Access and Crisis Line. Thank you. So our mission from Greg. So our mission is to spread awareness of depression and other mental disabilities in our school. Some people don't know how to deal with depression or the anxiety that they have. So we want E3 students to be able to have a safe space and place for people and for them to, have to share their unique experiences and how they affect them. And also to have resources to help them deal with the problems they're facing. Thank you, Alan. Uh, hi, my name is Greg. And in order to tackle our goal, we did some research and found out that 1.9 million children between ages three and 17 have been diagnosed with depression, which is the cause of over two thirds of 30,000 reported suicides in the US each year. Anxiety disorders also affect 25.1% of teens between ages 13 and 18. Hello, my name is Cecil Lomeli, and during our ideation phase, we developed four different ways in which we could help pursue and achieve our goal of spreading mental health awareness and aid to the teenagers here at E3 and teenagers around the world who may be suffering from mental illness or want to learn about it. We concluded that to best assess this problem which we are facing, we would create an Instagram, a website, host school assemblies, and start a school club. Hello, my name is Faith. To make an advertise and um, to make an advertisement for mental health aid and awareness, we made an Instagram. We thought it would be best to reach our fellow scholars through social media. Most of our scholars have social media, and through mental health aid and awareness Instagram, we have been able to provide information and help regarding mental health through various posts of our Instagram page. Okay. Um, sorry. Okay, not only did we want to reach our fellow classmates, but we wanted to reach the world, as Haziel had stated previously. Therefore, we created a website meant to give people advice and provide a safe place to seek help to those that may be too shy to do so on their own. This is a look at what our website is. We have our mission on here, the importance of um, talking about mental health in schools and some advice, a 
basically giving people tips on how to take care of their own mental health and how to help others. We also have a place where you can donate with many organizations and it shows you a little place to donate to help other people do exactly what we are trying to do. Overall, our goal is to spread awareness and of mental health and find a way to make the topic more talked about in schools. Um, okay, so Mental Health Aid and Awareness Club. Uh, our team was also in the processing of initiating a mental aid, health aid and awareness club at, within E3. Our club was designed to create a safe space uh, to spread mental health aid. We were going to have meetings with like Mr. Smith, our school counselor, and he would come on Saturdays for our club. And whoever wanted to come could come. It would be a safe place to express your feelings and concerns. But due to the coronavirus, we weren't able to go through with our RD. Uh, thank you. If there are any questions, then please ask. Okay. Floor is open for questions. Any questions? I think Italy, you don't have a question for me? Not a question, but more like a comment. I like the idea of also creating different um, solutions. So like they had the website and also like maybe creating like a club, stuff like that was very innovative and I can see that. So it was more visually appealing and I found that very attracting. So um, I like the ideas of having multiple things to represent. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The idea also of the Instagram, so actually going on to a place where um, teens are actually hanging out, that that was really a good idea as well. Thank you.